I know you had a mixed drink before, but have you had a cocktail? Let's talk about that. Welcome to these cocktails. And today, we're doing the Juliet and Romeo. But first, if you're here, I appreciate it. That's because you followed us from Instagram or you're already a YouTube subscriber. And I just want to thank everybody subscribing to our YouTube, following us on social media. We really appreciate it. The only thing we could ask is that you like, comment, and subscribe, and share it on all your platforms. Really appreciate that. We're going to get started with our final Valentine's Day cocktail with the Juliet and Romeo. This one isn't pink, but it's special. If you guys know about the story of Romeo and Juliet, you understand why. We're going to get started with three slices of cucumber. Pinch of salt. Get out a little muddle. We'll break that cucumber up. Now we're going to add three quarter ounces of a simple syrup. This is a one to one simple syrup. Half ounce egg white. Three quarter ounces of lime juice. Four drops of rose water. And I literally mean drops. This stuff is potent. Two ounces of a London dry gin. We're using Beef Eater London dry gin. Last but not least, a sprig of mint. Egg white, dry shake. Add ice, give it a shake. We're gonna serve this in a chill coupe glass. Hawthorne strainer. Fine mesh strainer. Now for a garnish, one single mint leaf. Float that on top. Three dashes of Angostura bitters. Two. And one single dash of rose water. Right on the mint leaf. This way you smell those aromatics as soon as it hits you in the nose. There you have it. The Julianne Romeo. Cheers. Wow. That's really intense. You can taste that cucumber. The aromatics from the rose water. I'm going to say the Angostura to the end. Try this out. Oh, wow. You really get that cucumber, too. Thanks, everyone, for 1,000. We really appreciate you guys. Happy Valentine's Day.